Now, the next possible interpretation must cause us to pause for a moment and orient the play in time and place. These are very important factors for every thing that descends to us from antiquity is in some way bounded by time and place. Here we have, for example, the problem of what was the tempest that might possibly have brought this whole pic uh, picture into focus. Several have decided that the most likely answer to this is that the tempest was the Protestant Reformation. Now this was a tempest that swept Europe. It originated with the uh, development and uh, re release brought about in religion by Martin Luther. It is very interesting, just in passing, that the crest of Martin Luther was a rose, within the rose a heart, and within the heart a cross. This, incidentally, was the device of the Tudor family, not German, and on the casket of Queen Elizabeth, the symbol of the Tudor rose is identical with that of Luther's crest. This rose also occurs in many different forms and values and has been gradually linked with the idea of Rosicrucianism. There was something happening back there that was causing a considerable stir. So, if you attended a great meeting of the Bill Masters, you would attend something that was very interesting. You would find these men gathered in <coughs> the communion house or in the community center. And here, on um, certain intervals, prescribed by their laws and their traditions, they broke bread together. And because not one of these was greater than another, they were seated around a circular table. And in the midst of the table was the gill cup. And this gill cup had on the, on the lips, all around the edge of the cup, little hooks. And on each of these hooks was the crest and shield of a gill master. This cup was filled with wine, and each of the masters drank from the cup, performing a ritualistic Eucharist and rededicating their lives to the great servants of the architects of the universe. They were worshipping through building. Their laws were their own, their secrets were inviolate. Their mysteries were perpetuated. The power of these men can well be imagined when we realize, for example, that a few days after he placed his famous bow on the church door, Martin Luther, who was by an instance a guildsman, because he belonged to the guild of the watchmakers, Soon after he had uh, made a public statement against the same of papal indulgences, Luther was called before his guilt. <clears throat> and here in solemn assembly, he was placed under the protection of the guilds and given a medal, which was always wear, and which he should show in time of emergency. But from that time on, although Luther had a hard time, he was under the protection of this body and was one of the few of the great performers of the period who survived. The kills were very powerful. The Adventures of Martin Luther! Did you get the suet, Jaime? Oh, thy, the suet I clean forgot. The suet you forgot? The lord, the fish oil, the butter fat, the dripping, the bull grease, I remember, but the suet I thigh. Go, you scourge, your father forgot the suet! Oh. Hello, Martin. <gasps> uh, where's the John? Oh, we don't have one. No, John? What you do? Uh, we eat fat. How that stops you going to the John? It's a theory. Yeah, but does it work? We ain't got no John. Yeah, but you need to go. Okay. You know how it is with theories. Some days they're fine, maybe one, two, three days. Then just when it looks like you're ready for the publish, whoosh, you need a new kitchen floor. Ah, oh, you should be so lucky. <laughs> uh, do you need any cleaning inside? Oh, no, today it's all going fine. Uh, well, uh, how's about show me the cutlery? Martin, I got a woman and children in there. So there's no problem. I just look at a few spoons. Uh. I got two girls in there, Martin. You know what I mean? Honest, I don't look at your girls. I, I don't think about them. There. I put them out of my mind, their arms, their necks, their little legs and bosoms. I wipe from my mind. You just want to see the spoons. My life, that's what I want to see. 
I oh, know I'm gonna regret this. No, oh, listen. Cutler is really my thing now. Girls with round breasts is over for me. What am I doing? I know what's going to happen. I'll uh, crouch behind you. He only wants to see the spoons. What do you have to bring him into my house for? Mamie, he doesn't think about girls anymore. Uh, Mrs. Meyer, as far as Goyles is concerned, I shut my word. You shut your word? Definitely. Which spoons do you want to view? Oh, I guess the soup spoons. Now, they're good spoons. Well, you got them arranged? No, but I can arrange them for you. Oh, don't put yourself to no bother, Mrs. Mayer. It's no bother. I want for you to see these spoons like I would want to see them myself. Oh, you're too kind, Mrs. Mayer. You could get your daughters to show me them. Amy, get him out of here! Amy, Mamie, you only said for Audrey and Myrtle to show him the spoons. Look, you think I'm running some kind of bordello here? Mrs. Mayer. How can you say such a thing? Listen, Martin Luther, I know what you want to do with my girls. Show me the spoons. Huh? Mamie, don't get excited. I'm getting excited. Hitler's getting excited. My mind is on the spoons. But you can't stop thinking of those little girls over the chairs. Oh, i got to go to the bathroom. I mean, I'm a married woman. So just show him the spoons. You don't want to put nothing up me? Mrs. Mayer, you read my mind. Yes, another convert for the Protestants.